you gonna play? Oh, right. I thought you were still loading it. Break it. Website set. Oh, that's weird. Cookie and I had a dream that we'd all be here. Two players it is, and here I am yapping. Let's do this. This is round one, and that means you get 500 points for fooling your opponent with your made up answer. And you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. Select a category. Okay, here's your first question. It's time for a road trip. When in Lafayette, Louisiana, be sure to check out their somewhat erotic statue of a shirtless blank. Now use your device to enter a bluff that you think will fool your opponent into thinking it's true. If you get stuck for half the points, you can use the help button and get a suggestion. Do it now. Okay, here are your choices. Find the truth and enter it on your device. Okay, what did everyone pick? If somewhat erotic isn't your speed, check out the pantsless firefighter statue on town over. <laughs> and the rest of the board goes unselected. <laughs> For some reason I thought you entered in vampire. Time to pick a category. <laughs> okay, okay, here's the question. In October of 2013, eight sixth graders from a New York college prep school were hospitalized after someone released blank in a classroom. Type in your lies now. Where's the truth? <laughs> Fifth graders. <laughs> All right, let's see what everybody picked. Most likely from being instantly dogpiled by dozens of supermodels. And nobody picked the other lies up there. Great. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. In 1990, before Everybody Loves Raymond, actor oh, Peter man. Boyle starred in a failed TV pilot called Blank, about a cop who turns into a talking bulldog. Enter your lies now. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Okay, let's take a look. And that means... Oh. Now it's round two, where all point values are doubled. Let's do it. Select a category. Okay, here's the question. Johnny Depp was made an honorary member of the Comanche Nation and given a descriptive Comanche name. His Comanche name, Mawu May, means blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, here are your choices. All right, who picked what? Well, you guys blew it. I almost picked two. <laughs> Which is short for man who shifts into white face makeup time after time. And that's yep. it. Nobody else's lives got picked. <laughs> You're back in the net. <laughs> Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. A man in Florida was arrested for calling 911 to complain that he wasn't allowed to bring his blank into a strip club. Enter your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? <laughs> Let's see what everybody selected. And nobody fell for some of these ingenious lies. Getting your boyfriend into the strip club, sorry. <laughs> Select a category. Okay, here's the question. According to a Chinese myth, if a vampire comes across a sack of rice, he must blank. Type in your lies now. Another myth is sugar. Or that's fairies. Okay, here are your choices. Okay, what did everyone pick? <laughs> and if they come across Anne Rice, they have to thank her for making them popular. And we're done. This is your final question, and it's worth triple. It's anybody's game. Here's your final fibbage question. Dr. Francis M. Fessmeyer's surefire remedy for stopping oh, your hiccups. And to your lies now. Ray had this question.
cat. Uh, Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> Only no, because yesterday we watched. Strangely, that's we also Dr. Pressmeyer's remedy for measles, leukemia, athlete's foot, and baldness. Up. And that means some of these didn't get picked. Oh, I know that. He told his girlfriend that he did the hiccup. Make it the hiccup, please. Oh, uh, you have so much time. And I don't, I don't know what she's doing. Like. My girlfriend would have to help me. I'm Cookie Masterson, and don't worry, I'm a certified public video game host. This is all legit. It looks like a two-person game. Sounds good. This way I can phone it in. Let's do this. This is round one. You'll get 500 points for fooling your opponent with your lie. And you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's your first question. The unusual Chick and Sophie Major Memorial Scholarships are awarded to high school students who are good at blank. Type in your yes, lies no, now. I don't remember the answer. All right, where's the truth? All right, who picked what? And nobody picked the other lies up there. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. <laughs> Ward Rectum. Shelley and Alex Schwader's art piece, In Orbit, which was on display at a gallery in New York, featured two men living in a giant blank for ten days. Enter your lies now. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. All right, let's see what everybody picked. You have to understand art to get it. You see, the wheel is symbolic of their desperate need for attention. And that's it. Nobody else's lives got picked. Ball, maybe. That's what I was thinking. Select the category. <laughs> okay, here's the question. Chad Orzel wrote the book How to Teach Blank to Your Dog. Type in your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? <laughs> okay, what did everyone pick? <laughs> and maybe your dog can teach physics to me. And nobody fell for some of these ingenious oh, lies. On. K A M A. It's not Karma Sutra. This is round two, Ooh, which means all point values are doubled. Exciting. <laughs> all right, pick a category. I thought it was right. I'd be a little 
<laughs> okay, here's the question. It's time for a celebrity tweet. 12.44 a.m., the 10th of December, 2013. At Simon Cowell tweeted, Still not sure what a blank is. Enter your lies now. Okay, here are your choices. Uh. Okay, let's take a look. And that means... <laughs> I almost a club plug. <laughs> that was mine. I figured. You saw the Christmas tree plant. Time to pick a category. Yeah. <laughs> I probably saw that, yeah. Okay, here's the question. It's time for a road trip. When in the North Shore Mountains near Vancouver, British Columbia, be sure to climb the unusually named peak called Blank Mountain. <coughs> Type in your lies now. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. <laughs> Alright, who picked what? <laughs> and I agree, I mean it's I just like messing up a perfectly good flat area. And the rest of the board goes unselected. <laughs> Select a category. Okay, here's the question. The Snickers candy bar was named after its creators blank. Enter your lies now. Alright, where's the truth? Nipple. <laughs> Let's see what everybody <laughs> selected. <laughs> and we're done. Ninety-six. <laughs> It's time for the final fibbage. Just one final question, and it's worth triple. Good luck. Okay, here is your final fibbage question. Name of the Rhode Island School of Design's penis-shaped hockey mascot. Type in your lies now. She just texted me she wanted to 96 me. Okay, which one's the truth? I like Larry. All right, let's see what everybody picked. Of course, the costume shrinks significantly when he's out on the ice. And nobody fell for some of these ingenious lies.
Did you want me to play Life is Strange or not? Yes, but I was going to play. <laughs>